Hello, welcome to the Presentation Guild. We are so happy that you're here. You are going to make our community so much the better. So what do you do now that you've joined the Presentation Guild? What are the next steps? Well, let's go through a few things that you can do. First, it would be really helpful to us if you updated your profile. So if you go to the menu with your face on, your first name on it, and you'll see View Profile, Edit Profile. So let's look at my profile right now. This is what it looks like. Uh, my information tab here will show you all the things that I have filled out. Um, you don't need to fill all of this information out. All we really need to know is your city, your state, um, province, and country so that we can plan possibly in the future to have state chapters around the world or local chapters around the world. Now to edit this profile and update it, you select edit profile. And once you're here, um, like I said, there are only a few required fields, your name, so we know what to call you, and the city, state, or province, and your country. All of the rest of it, which is a lot of questions, I will wholeheartedly admit, um, everything else is optional. You can choose to tell us what you want. If you want to add or update or change your avatar for the website, this is where you can do that from as well. If you go over here to this blue button that says profile avatar and click on that, you will have the option to either take a photo right on the spot with whatever device you're using or upload a photo of your choice. We also now have profile covers, which we didn't before, um, but with the latest user UI update, uh, we added that in. So here you can upload something that will show in the header of your profile page behind your face, your name, and all of this other information as well. Oh, wrong one. Um, it actually gives you some information here, some ballpark ideal sizes for your photos. Uh, play around with it and make something up that's creative and fun. Um, now you might notice on my profile here, I have this more about me section. And in the header, I have all of these social media profile links. How does that get there? Now, for um, previous members, returning members, current members who are have been around while this update has happened, uh, in the update your your profile area, there is a social profile section. And I want to leave that there for now because I believe a fair amount of you have used those. Um, however, if you want your links to show up in the header of your profile, you can change those using this social networks button that's green here. And once you do that, you can enter in your links for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, all the fun stuff. Instagram, don't want to leave you out. So that is updating your profile. Now, you might notice that I have on this overview page and this constant more about me section. So overview page, I have some skills, I have a quote, um, I have this more about me area and this keep in touch. Um, this keep in touch area will update automatically if you update those social profiles under the green button that I had just showed you. But how do I get this other stuff on my overview page? I want to have some personality on my on my profile page when people come to see it. So how we do that is under the edit profile page, we went to the profile settings automatically. You can close that. You can uh, collapse this section with this carrot here. Um, you don't have to. You can scroll down from there. But widget settings is what we're after you can add widgets to that overview page and this is where you do it. Let's say I wanted to add in a skill. 
and they don't have to necessarily be presentation related. Um, and I have two PowerPointing and presenting on camera, which I'm working on. But I can add a new skill here and I will pick dog training. For those of you who don't know, I recently got adopted a dog this year and my dog training skills, I would say are at about 15% right now. I'll select a color for that bar to be orange. And once I save the changes here, I can go back to my profile page and I'll refresh that. And I scroll down and now I have <laughs> dog training, but apparently I'm so bad at, bad at dog training. <laughs> the bar is not long enough to display all of the phrase dog training. So don't ask me to train your dog. You can also add in slideshows of pictures, uh, videos, uh, links to maybe your portfolio and a quote. I have a quote on mine. One of my favorite quotes of all time uh, is an Einstein quote. If you end up uh, being a contributing author or anything like that at the website, if you've made posts, they will also show up on your uh, overview page. Okay. So what next? I've updated my profile. I have a great picture to show off to everybody. Oh, I didn't show you this more about me section. Let me go back to that really quickly. So more about me is just, it has your, your biography in there. You can add something fun, uh, your name, and you can put in another page. This won't be your avatar page, but this can be an additional, additional um, fun page, something that really shows us who you are as a person, maybe outside the presentation world. This is me trying to pretend I can present on camera again. Um, and there's a fun one for me badly playing the guitar. So that might make an appearance one day. Anyway, that's updating your profile. What happens after that? What's next? What else can you do? Well, there's a bunch of things in here, uh, resources and other stuff that you can do once you sign up or throughout your membership. Let's just go down the list here. Profile privacy, what does that mean? So let's click into there and it will bring you to the account settings, which was actually already kind of on that page we were just on. So account settings has a few things. You can change your email and password here. Fair warning, if you change your email here, you are not changing your username. You are just changing your email address. If you do need to change your login username, just send me an email at uh, webmaster at presentationguild.org and we'll work together to figure that out. Um, privacy settings is a great one here. I want to bring to your attention because this is where you can dictate who can see your profile, that overview page, um, and anything within it that's set for either members to see or the public to see. You can choose for everyone to see your profile or only the logged in users. Um, and you can also hide your pro profile from the membership directory. If you don't want anyone to know that you're part of the membership, um, overtly without you telling them, you can come in here and choose to hide your profile from the member directory. The member directory can be found, connect, and member directory. We'll just open that in a new tab real quick. And this is the member directory right here. Members will show up unless they choose not to. What will show up are your cover photos, your profile photos, your full name, and your, um, what do they call this? Your, your at reference. Uh, so if you want to mention somebody on the website and they get a notification, that's what you use. Now, some of them are a little strange and that's the longer ones are from members who have been around for a long time, who've gone through some technology changes. 
Uh, you see here, Bethany has uploaded a cover photo. That looks great, Bethany. Thank you. Um, you'll see a blue check mark next to her. You'll also see one next to me. Uh, board members will have a check mark next to their name. Uh, they are verified members. I haven't check marked Gitesh's. Sorry, Gitesh. I'll get to that. Uh, also, if you've earned your certification, if you've earned your certified presentation specialist certification, that will also show up in the member directory next to your face or under it, actually. So here I am. And uh, don't know why this guy shows up when I type Steffi, but that's OK. Um, it will show up underneath here that you have earned your certification. Um, and if you're online, like I am, they'll have a little green circle next to your name as well. So there are all kinds of UI improvements that rolled out in August 2020 update. Um, and hopefully we'll catch all of them here. That's my goal. Okay, what else can we do? So, oh, I didn't want to show that. Let's see here. Also, okay, here's a big question. Uh, that used to be a little wonky to get to before. How do I renew my membership? Um, now we've gone to the auto renew model. You can actually turn that off, but then if you want to manually renew, you can come in here to your, in, under your user menu, um, click on my membership. It now takes you directly to your member subscriptions, which it didn't used to before. There had to be a few clicks. But now we've tried to make that easier for you. Another really small improvement, but I think that you guys will like a lot, is if you click on your payments, anybody who has ever needed a PDF of their invoice for paying membership um, and you don't have your email receipt anymore, you can come in here and download a PDF of um, certification exam fees or whatever memberships that you have paid for. Um, also under your user menu is portfolios. So we recently changed the portfolio system completely because what we were using before was no longer supported uh, for over a year and they were never going to update it again. So we had to be agile and quickly change that up so that we could keep giving you guys uh, functionality that you were used to. And actually, the really great thing is that the new system allows for a few more things that the old one just didn't. Um, once you go to portfolio, if whenever you upload projects, they show here on this My Portfolio page. They also will show up, if you choose to allow it, they will show up in member portfolios. So the member portfolios page will show all of the projects that our members have uploaded and chosen to allow the public to see. OK, so what do I do here? You can add a project um, and it will walk through walk you through step by step for adding a project. The cool thing is here you can add in, you know, photos and video and audio playlists. You can also add in native files now. Um, you can upload documents. You're allowed to do PowerPoint, PDF, Word, Excel. Um, I should probably add Keynote in there now that I'm talking about it to you guys. So that way you can actually share live files with each other. And we couldn't do that before. OK, new or returning member, what else is there to do? Uh, you can print out a membership certificate. You go here and this will bring up a um, certificate in the browser with your memberships on them. And when you print it, it'll print nicely to um, a letter size piece of paper. Um, I apologize to my A4 friends. We'll eventually figure that one out. Um, OK. So you've got a printable membership certificate, which is pretty cool, I think. We, um, let's see, we've got certification errata. 
So this is where you can find um, besides the download section, which we'll get to in a second, this is where you can find the study and practice reference, which is free for members. You can download that. Uh, there is the practice test. Um, members get this for free. Uh, Non-members have to pay. And you can take it three times before you take your exam. And then if you've actually purchased the exam, this says take exam now. Um, if you have not purchased it, it will say buy now. Downloads. This is a great page with a lot, um, an expanding library of references and resources for you guys. Donated by various uh, guild members or sponsors. So we've got a white paper that was just released September 2020. Um, a bunch of templates, legal templates, uh, project intake forms, a safe font list. Uh, all kinds of really useful things to help you become a better presentation professional and to help you in your businesses if you should have your own. You can also take advantage of the discounts and perks page where companies have partnered with us to give guild members discounts, freebies, and other things like that. So I highly encourage you to explore this page as well. Uh, member logos. If you would love to display that you're a Presentation Guild member, you can put one on your website or in your email signature. This is the place to come and download them. We made these specifically for you. If you are an individual member, you have a few to choose from, vertical, horizontal, um, with backgrounds or transparent backgrounds. And if you are a corporate or company member, you have the corporate member uh, choice as well. And you could also buy guild gear to show off your pride of being a presentation guild member. We have chosen to use logo software to uh, create all of this stuff. They have really great stuff. Um, I have a sweatshirt that I will wear. I would wear it every day if I wouldn't get strange looks from people. It's super comfy. It has a little embroidered guild logo on it. Um, I would order five more of those if I could. Um, all kinds of stuff, hats, backpacks, and really good quality. So there's that. Let's go back to here. All right, so we've really gone through this personalized user menu with what the thing, what things you can do once you join. Um, I hope that helps a lot. Now, you can also go to the discussion forums where we have all kinds of topics going on, um, software specific, um, skill specific, SOS, help me now kind of things. If you post in the discussion forum, um, notifications are automatically sent to our Slack group that is for guild members. Uh, you will have gotten a separate email in your inbox from Slack inviting you to join the Slack group once you have become a member. Um, so discussion forum things will automatically feed into there so you won't ever lose track of who's asking questions or any support topics, etc. We have a book club, watch out for those. Um, and then the member wall, let me talk about this for just a few minutes. Um, this is actually new in the August 2020 update as well. Um, it looks like a social media platform update. Uh, and you can, on this page, share a status, um, uh, upload some photos, create a slideshow, add some quotes, and you can share live files here as well. So you have a PowerPoint file you wanna share or have problems with and need feedback on, you can put it up here, people can comment on it, um, you can tag people and at mention them, um, and they'll get a notification for it. And you'll see people, when you add uh, things to your portfolio, they will show up here. If you earn a certification, uh, it will show up here to congratulate you. Um, we have online members right now. It's myself and Imran. Hi, Imran. Um, 
and any notifications of people responding to me uh, or commenting on anything I had or mentioning myself, mentioning me specifically. So it's kind of a fun new area. Um, we're constantly working on improvements uh, with the UI and your user experience. So if you have any suggestions or requests or thoughts, don't hesitate to reach out at ideas at presentationguild.org. Just send any ideas there. Um, and there you go. There's just explore what we have to offer. Um, and I really hope that you find your time at the Presentation Guild to be rewarding and helpful and that you found a new community that is really there to support you. Um, welcome to the Presentation Guild. Thanks for watching.